Donald Trump shows clear signs of the most severe personality disorder. It's called malignant narcissism, and it was first introduced by Eric Fromm, who escaped the Nazis and spent a lot of his life trying to understand the psychology of evil. And he formulated this diagnosis of malignant narcissism, which has four components. Narcissism, paranoia, antisocial personality disorder, and sadism. I think everybody knows Donald Trump's a narcissist by now. I will be the greatest jobs producer that God ever created. I know more about ISIS than th the generals do, believe me. Who are you consulting with consistently so that you're ready on day one? I'm speaking with myself, number one, because I have a very good brain. But it's the other three components that make him truly dangerous. Because many politicians are narcissistic, but he's also paranoid. So all of his crazy conspiracy theories. The state of Hawaii released my official long form birth certificate. The birth certificate was produced in 2011. You continued to tell the story and question the president's legitimacy in 2012, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. How about this one about Ted Cruz's father? His father was with Lee Harvey Oswald prior to Oswald's being shot, and nobody even brings it up. And his sense of being a victim. Mr. Trump turned his sights on Google, tweeting, they have it rigged for me and others so that almost all stories and news is bad. And his demonization of anyone who disagrees with him. Nasty guy. Now I know why he doesn't have one endorsement from any right. of his colleagues. All right, John, John I can't Senator get Cruz, pick from the buffet there. He's a yeah. nasty guy. Right. These are all signs of a paranoid process. Antisocial personality disorder, or what used to be called psychopathy or sociopathy. It's constant lying. Well, he's the most documented liar in human history, I think, at this point. It's violating the rights of other people and exploiting other people. So sexual assault would be violating the rights of other people, uh, not paying your bills or defrauding people through Trump University would be an example of exploiting other people. And it's breaking laws and breaking norms. Well, he's broken every norm of the presidency. That's one of the reasons he's so out of control. There are certain norms he thought no one would ever break, but it's part of his personality disorder to break norms and to break laws. And it's a lack of remorse. He has no guilt or anxiety about the destructive things that he does. Impeachment for that? It was beautiful. It was just a perfect conversation. And the fourth component that Eric Fromm identified is sadism. Truly taking pleasure in harming, humiliating, and degrading other human beings. If you read his tweets, I wrote an introduction to a book about his tweets. I had to read thousands of his tweets. And they literally made me ill because it was just one vicious attack on an humiliating insult after another, after another. It's like, how can someone even come up with thousands of vicious things to say about so many people? But he enjoys degrading and humiliating and insulting other people. I do think that we have enough evidence that most psychiatrists would feel like it's important to warn about Trump. We have a duty to warn.